Hey, what's going on everyone? June with the Sushi Man here, and I'm going to be teaching you how to cut cucumbers for sushi rolls. This is part of a mini series where I go over the basics on cutting vegetables, and I'll try to keep them rather short. And thank you so much for all the subscribers. I truly appreciate it, and I promise you more videos are coming. And if you like my videos, I have some very exciting news for you. My book on how to make sushi at home has finally gone to press. It's basically all my years of experience compiled into an easy to follow step by step guidebook with tons of recipe tips and tricks, not to mention hundreds of full color images. It's available for pre-order at some major retail stores, which I'll add links in the description below. All right, enough of my little promo there. Let's get right into it. So today I'll be going over a couple different methods on cutting cucumber. But first off, the type of cucumber we want to use is either English or Japanese cucumbers. Purging cucumbers can sometimes work as well. But stay away from the regular slicing cucumbers, which are the shorter, fatter, and thicker skin ones. Those have much more seeds and tend to be bitter, which isn't ideal for sushi. Here I'm using the English cucumber, which is usually wrapped in plastic. And try to find one that's nice and straight. The first thing we want to do is cut off the tip from one end, and then take the plastic off. Then wash it with cold water and dry it using a paper towel or kitchen towel. Now this first method I'm going to show you is one of the easiest and most basic ways to cut cucumbers for sushi rolls. First, let's grab a piece of nori and measure out the exact length from the end that we just cut. Then make a nice straight cut there so that the cucumber is the same length as the nori sheet. With this other end, I'll be showing you the second method right after this, so we'll just put it aside here for now. Alright, so from here we'll be cutting into roughly 3 8 inch strips, or about 1 centimeter. The metric system is so much easier. This is good if you like a lot of cucumber crunchiness to your roll since each piece will be thicker. So let's lay this vertically on our cutting board, and I like to find a nice straight and stable part of the cucumber so that it doesn't roll around much. Now we take our knife and cut straight down right about that 3 8 inch mark, again about a centimeter. Make sure to secure the cucumber with our other hand while cutting. Next, we do the same thing again, slicing down about that 3 8 inch width. Try to keep the cut nice and even all the way through. From this halfway point, you can either keep cutting the same way, or I like to flip it around and repeat the cut from the other end. Just makes it a little bit easier, at least for me. After you're done with that, you should have about 4 to 5 pieces, maybe less if you're using a smaller cucumber, and they should have a nice and even thickness to them. Next, we'll just take each piece and cut them down into strips. Now with these ones in the middle, you want to follow the outside line of the skin like this. That way you have a nice even strip that has that rich green color of the skin still on it. This matters more if the cucumber is curved, not so much if it's straight. Do that for both sides and this center part can be tossed. Then just repeat these steps for the rest of the cucumber. Now really quick, you can also cut these strips in half. This makes it so that you can roll a tatemaki, which is with the seaweed laid vertically like this. Also it can be good for temaki which are hand rolls. And even if you cut it in half, you can still lay them down together for full rolls like this. And that's it! Again, this is one of the most simplest and basic ways of cutting cucumbers for rolls. It's versatile and if you want to, you can still slice them down thinner which gives a different texture. Which leads us into method 2. And just a fair warning, this method is much more advanced and will require a certain level of knife skills. For this, we'll be using the remaining section that we cut earlier, but we only need half of the length. So in order to measure it correctly, let's place a sheet of nori and cut the cucumber right at that half mark. Try to keep the cut straight and perpendicular as possible. And you can still use this last end, so don't throw it away. This piece that we'll be cutting should be as straight and cylindrical as possible. So if you have a cucumber that's curved, try to find the straightest part and cut it down to this size. Another thing that's very important here is to have a sharp knife with a blade that's straight and longer than the length of the cucumber. I'll be using my sujiki for this video. Alright, the concept here is to rotate the cucumber while we cut a thin layer off the outside. This technique is called katsuramuki, which is typically used for daikon radishes. So in order to do this, hold the cucumber with your fingers and not your palm. The knife should be secure with your thumb towards the heel of the blade. 
Then you want to lay the blade along the skin and tilt it inwards just slightly. From here, you carefully move the blade up and down while rotating the cucumber with the other hand. The two thumbs should guide the blade under the thin sheet of cucumber as you cut. What's important here is to not apply force. Let the blade do its job by moving it up and down a little at a time. And make sure to take your time. Continue this motion as you go around the cucumber and try to keep the thickness, or should I say thinness, as even as possible. Now you don't have to shave it as thin as I'm doing it here. Remember, the thicker the cut, the crunchier the texture, and vice versa. It's all up to your personal preference. When you get to this point where the outside green layer is peeled, you can either cut it off and start over, or continue on using the same technique. Keep doing this at the pace you're comfortable with and don't worry if it accidentally cuts off. Just reset and start the process again. If you keep going, you'll eventually get to the core where the seeds are. This part is too soft to use for sushi, so you can either toss it, or I've seen some chefs use it for garnish. Now lay the cucumber sheet out and cut it roughly about 5 to 6 inches in length. We'll then stack these on top of each other and julienne slice them into thin strips. And once again, you can control the thickness to your liking here. The thinner the strips, the lighter the texture, while a thicker cut will have more crunchiness to them. You get the point. And that's it! Two main methods to cutting cucumbers for sushi rolls. Try both ways and see which one you like. And remember, practice makes perfect, so even if you don't get it the first time, or even the first 10 times, keep trying and I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe and hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Arigatou gozaimasu!